Hi, welcome to the Indusoft Web Studio video series. Today we're going to show you how to connect to a PLC, and in this case we're going to use a Modbus Ethernet PLC. We're going to put some of the troubleshooting tools on the screen and show you how to get uh, communications going quickly. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a uh, command line here and just prove that we can connect to the PLC over Ethernet. We're going to ping it. So I'm going to do a CMD and I'm going to ping. Uh, the PLC is at uh, 192.168.0.151. And the fact that I'm getting replies from it means that I've got the uh, connection with the cable and the uh, IP address and the subnet mask correct too. I'm going to exit that. I'm going to start a brand new IndieSoft Web Studio application. In this case, I'm going to call it um, Modbus TCP. And I'm going to create a new application here. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is go into the communications and drivers. I'm going to right click on drivers, add remove drivers. And the driver that we want is the MOD uh, TCP. So I'm going to hit the letter M. That's going to jump us down to the M's. And I'm going to scroll down here until we get MOTCP. And I'm going to select and add that to my project. Say OK. And now that I have that driver installed in my project, I can right click on it and insert a driver worksheet. In fact, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the main driver worksheet so I can put any type of address in there. Um, the addressing scheme that I have in this PLC is such that uh, there is a timer that's automatically counting. I have a, a set point and a enable bit. So the first 4x12289, that's the actual counter value or the timer in this case. So I'm just going to call that value. And I'm going to put that tag name into Indusoft Web Studio. I'm going to create that on the fly. I could go into the database and add these all in, but I'm just going to create these on the fly. And now the addressing for this is the IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.0.151. And then a colon for the port number. In most cases with Modbus Ethernet, it is port 502. And then we also need the PLC uh, ID number. In this case, it's 1. So it's the IP address, colon, the port number, colon, then the ID number. And I'm going to have a set point in here. So I'm going to put in a tag name of set point and also make that as an integer. And I'm going to use the station, the same station. I'm going to copy that and paste it. The address for the set point is 4x colon... Uh, 12 to 90, and that's an integer. And then there is an uh, enable uh, bit. So I'm just going to do enable. And in this case, it's not going to be an integer. I'm just going to use a Boolean here because it's going to be an on-off bit. That's the same station address. In this case, it's going to be the first bit in the next available word. So it's 1, 2, 2. Uh, 91.0 for bit number 0 in that word. So I have value, set point, and enable. And for just uh, some troubleshooting, I'm going to go ahead and put some things in these uh, status field. I'm going to put RC. I'm going to make that also an integer for read complete. I'm going to put read status or RS, also making that an integer. WC for write complete and write status WS. Now for all of these error codes that will possibly get returned, I'm going to put some displays on the screen in a moment just to show you some troubleshooting techniques. And at this point I can go ahead and save this worksheet and close it. Now I'm going to go to the graphics tab and insert a screen. I'm going to keep the defaults here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is add a bar graph on the screen. And this bar graph will be for the value. And right now it's just a rectangle, but I'm going to go ahead and change that to or add a bar graph and pull from the tag uh, value here. And we'll just leave that at minimum 0, maximum of 100 for now. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a text display object next to this, and this will be set point. And that piece of text, I'm going to uh, double click here and apply the text data link animation to it. And I will pull that set point tag from our database here and allow input enabled. And once that is there, I can uh, use that. And then I'm going to need a bit to be able to toggle or enable that. I'm going to put this um, button on here and put enable. And I will tie a toggle on here. So I will toggle the tag called enable. And that should allow us to uh, set the set point and turn on and off that uh, counter or timer in this case to see the bar graph going up and down. So um, also what I wanted to do is put text on the screen to show you the um, uh, status codes coming back. So I'm going to put um, RC on here and double click on this, go to text data link and add this in here for RC. And I'm going to do, let me just add, because I think we could possibly need uh, more than uh, four pound signs. Let me add a fifth pound sign in there. And now I'm going to copy this over here, and I'm going to change RC to RS. And not only the tag, but uh, also in the uh, caption here. So this would be R. S. And I'm going to copy both of those by holding the control key down while I drag and change these to read complete and, I'm sorry, write complete and write status. I'm just changing the tags here and now I'll go back into the text and change those to write status and write complete. Now, I should be able to save this screen. In this case, I will save it as main. And now I can right click and set that screen as startup. And now I should be able to run this screen, or run this project. And now I have already have a set point in there of 75, so it's counting up to 75. And then starting over, I can turn that off. And let's say change that set point to be 100. Enter. And now enable that. And it will count up to 100. And then start back over again. That just happens to be the logic that I have in this PLC. Um, so let's change this down to maybe 80. And now it will count up to 80. And there we go. Now, what we have going on here with status is I have... Uh, read complete is toggling between 0 and 1 and 1 and 0 every time it does a read. In this case, when I use the main driver sheet, it's about every 600 milliseconds or so. The read status is 0, which is a good status, means there's no error codes. Uh, the write complete, this will change every time a write happens. Now, for example, if I write by pressing this button, you will see that that toggles to a 1, and then if I do it again, that toggles to a 0. So that tells you every time a write has completed, and the write status also is a zero, which means there's no error codes. Now, uh, I'm going to pull the Ethernet cable off of the PLC, and what you will see is question marks happens in the set point, and now we'll see a read status of 16. And if you go look that up in the man, uh, manual, the, the, the uh, MOTCP manual, it will tell you what type of error code that is. Uh, hopefully this was beneficial for you, and if you need more information, you can contact us at... For more information regarding Indusoft Web Studio version 7, you can visit our website, as shown here, at www.indusoft.com, or other websites at indusoft.com.br, indusoft-germany.de, or you can send us emails at info at indusoft.com, .com .br, or indusoft-germany.de, or give us a call directly at any of the numbers listed here on the screen. Thank you for listening, and I uh, hope you have a nice day.